is a continuation of kind of what we did in the earlier video. This talks about molecular formula. The molecular formula is how something actually exists in nature. So molecular formula is what is it actually, how does a molecule exact, actually or something exist in nature? So molecular formula can be reduced. That's the difference between empirical and molecular. When you go to calculate, the first step is you have to find the empirical formula. Second step is we're going to use what I call the fraction, which is the actual molar mass, which is going to be given to you in the problem. And then you take the empirical formula of molar mass, which you found in one, figure it out, divide the two, and you get what's called the magic number. Now, the number's not actually magic, but we use that number. We take that and we multiply it times the empirical formula, and we get the molecular formula. That's it. That's it. Here we go. If I take a look and I look at the problem, notice how it tells me the actual weight of the compound is 60.05. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to just come over here at the formula, or the formula, 60.05 goes on the top. All I need to do is put the empirical formula molar mass here. So in order to do that, I've got to find the empirical formula. So I'm going to go 40.0 grams of carbon. I'm going to divide by 12.01 grams of carbon from the molar ma from the mass for the element from the table. So I'm going to take my handy dandy calculator and I'm going to go 40.0 divided by 12.01 is equal to 3.330 moles of carbon. The next thing I'm going to do is 6.71 grams of hydrogen and 1.0 grams of hydrogen is equal to one mole of hydrogen. And that's going to be equal to 6.71. That was kind of anticlimactic. And last but not least, 53.29 grams of oxygen. Divide by the molar mass of oxygen, which is going to be 16.0 grams of oxygen, is going to be equal to one mole. So I'm going to go 53.29 divided by 16.0. I'm going to get 3.33. Oh, I guess I'm supposed to go four places. Who cares? Smallest number. Remember, just like we did before, I'm going to divide by the smallest number. 3.33, 3.33, 3.33. This is going to be 1. This is going to be 2. And that's going to be 1. So that means my empirical formula is CH2O. Now, remember if I come up here, I need to put the molar mass of that thing right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate the molar mass. Well, there's carbon is 12, one of them. Two hydrogens is two. That's going to be 14 plus 16 for oxygen. If I add it all together, my molar mass of the empirical formula is 30. When I do, what I'm going to basically take 60 divided by 30. Remember, the magic number is going to be a whole number. In this case, the magic number is a two. In fact, I am going to use a rainbow to make the magic number. The magic number is two. So that means we're going to take the magic number and we're going to do this. We're going to take CH2O and multiply times the magic number. C times two, C2. Two times H, H4, and then finally O2. Boom shakalaka. So that means A is your correct answer for your molecular formula. Here we go. Look at this problem. She's actually giving you the empirical formula. This is my actual molar mass, so the fraction. I go 42.0 grams, goes up there. Then I'm going to calculate the molar mass of that. Well, carbon is 12, and then two hydrogens is 2, so I'm going to get 14. So I'm going to take 42 divided by 14, and I am guessing that's going to be equal to 3. Then the magic number, again, I'm going to do it in, it's not really magic, but I like to say it. The magic number is 3. So then all I have to do is take that 3 times CH2. Well, 3 times the 1 carbon is going to be 3 carbons. 3 times the 2 hydrogens is going to be 6 hydrogens. So my molecular formula, which means it can be reduced, is C3H6, or C. Next one. If I look right here, first thing I notice is I'm giving, it's funny, same molar mass, I'm giving the actual molar mass, so I'm going to go to the diffraction, 6.0 grams goes there. I'm going to go 40 grams, is this the same one I did? Problems after a while, whatever. 40.0 grams of carbon, I'm going to do this, I'm going to divide by 12.0 grams of carbon equals one mole, so I'm going to go 
40 divided by 12. I feel like I did this already. Whatever. 3.33. Didn't I do this? Oh my god, it's like this anyway. Whatever. Um, then I'm going to basically go 53.3 grams. You kids must feel like that too. 53.3 grams of oxygen, 16.0 grams of oxygen is equal to one mole of oxygen. So I'm going to go 53.3 divided by 16 is equal to 3.33. And then finally hydrogen. When I go to do hydrogen, it's going to be 6.66 grams of hydrogen. Again, the mass from the table is 1.0 grams of hydrogen equal to one mole, I'm going to get 6.66. Divide by the smallest number, 3.33, 3.33, 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 1, 1, 2. So now I have CO2H is what I'm given. Well, remember, I'm going to take the molar mass of this. So 12 plus 1 is 13. And then oxygen, two oxygens is 32. And that's equal to something wicked, 16, 16. Well, my brain's going to stay. 16. 53.3 um, divided by 16. So that's equal to 3. Um, 40 grams of carbon divided by 12. Oh, I know what I did. Silly goose. Apparently I can't count. Check it out. Let's try that again. Pretend like you kids didn't see that. I got one carbon, one oxygen, and two hydrogens. Here. So I'm going to do this. I've got 12 for carbon, 16 for oxygen, and 2 for hydrogen. When I total the empirical form of molar mass, I'm going to get 30. So then I'm going to basically put 30 on the bottom, 60 on the top, 30 on the bottom. Wait a second. You know what's coming. The magic number is going to be 2. So then what I do is I take that magic number and I multiply that. So that's going to give me C2O2H4, and the crowd goes wild, and C is your correct answer. Oh, my God, another one. Here we go. Percent composition, notice they're giving me the actual molar mass is 112 grams. So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to go 64.3 grams of carbon. 12.0 grams of carbon is equal to one mole of carbon. I get tired of writing this. 64.3 divided by 12 is going to be 5.358. I'm going to take 7.2 grams of hydrogen, divide by 1.0. I'm going to get... 7.200 grams of hydrogen, 28.5, I'm cutting corners here, kids, this is getting old, divide by 16.0 grams of oxygen, I know how you feel, so we're going to go 28.5 divided by 16.0 is going to be equal to 1.7812, so basically 1.7812 is our smallest number, 7812, 1.7812. So what I'm going to get is 5.358 divided by 1.7812. That's going to give me 3 for that. I'm going to take 7.2 divided by 1.7812. That's going to give me 4, and that's going to give me 1. So my molecular or my empirical formula is going to be C3. H4O. Well, you know the drill. This is going to be times 12, so I have to figure out the molar mass of this. It's going to be 36 plus 4 is 40, plus 16 is going to be 56 if I can figure out how to add. So then my empirical form of molar mass is going to go up here, 56. I'm going to go 112 divided by 56, but we all know what's about to happen. We're going to take out the Cacao, magic number is 2. I'm going to multiply that over here. I'm going to get C6H8O2. Boom, shaka, laka. All right, I'm going to stop there.